whether or not there was disrespect issued to the Prime Minister by way of the tone of the officer or by words used. Um, I cannot comment on that because I did not hear what the officer said. I am simply aware that the officer was never called by the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister was speaking to supposedly the mother-in-law that he referred to in his interview. And he requested that the mother-in-law, if it is that it was her phone that had called him or he had called, he wanted to speak with the officer via that phone. And the officer simply refused to take the phone because he was carrying out his instructions, which was to confiscate those plants and destroy them. I understand the officer was occupied, mobilizing the plants, and so he didn't felt it appropriate or fit, and rightfully so in accordance with section 61 of the regulations, to entertain instructions as I understand it. We are a signatory to a convention against the trading of certain species of plants, and we have no other than a minister saying, yeah, we are a signatory to that, but we don't incorporate that into law yet, so we, we don't pay no attention to that. We are what we want. To hell with our international partners. Because essentially that is what he implied. That because we have failed to adopt this in law, we can disregard the fact that we are a signatory to a convention with international partners who expect that we will cooperate in the best interest of the region and international trade where trading in flora and fauna is concerned. 